Hello and welcome to this Power BI and Power Query tutorial with me, James, from Matador Software. Today I want to look at a very common issue that you may face. And this regularly happens when retrieving data um, where maybe the source system or the source app has potentially been a bit too flexible in the way that people input dates. And dates are a very common issue with transformations, whether you're using SQL, Python, Power BI, whatever. So the first two rows aren't correct because the UK date format we're looking at should have two digits for the days where you can see it's presented correctly in line three, four, and five. So we need to rectify that and essentially add a leading zero. Now I'm gonna look at quite a simple, intuitive, straightforward way to do this with a mixture of custom M columns and, and, and standard GUI steps. You could also do this with, a, with an M script with some if else logic um, where you add when uh, the total text length of characters is less than a certain value. But we're gonna start by splitting out um, our specific values. So the year, for example, would be the last four digits to the right. That's always okay. And we can assume that the month is always okay. <clears throat> so from the right in this original column that we're starting to chop up, we can go into the transform GUI um, and we can split the next two columns from the right what will happen then, we will be left with um, a day value, a month value, um, and a year. However, like we said, the day is still not good. So we need to use, we'll use a specific um, M function to actually add in a leading zero. <clears throat> so starting to look better and take shape, now we need to add a custom column um, within our applied steps here. So we can go to add column in the GUI, and then we're going to take custom column. You can call this whatever you like. Um, I may just call this something like formatted day. And within the formula, um, we can use, you see that this gets broken up into an integer value data type um, where day is. So we can use number dot two text. We can use that function. Remember the capitalization there, Power Query's case sensitive. Um, and then within here, <coughs> we simply need to specify the column that we require, which is day. And to add that trailing zero, we just specify two digits in the integers, which gives us um, that correct zero value in a more automatic way. So that's perfect. Now we can just remove that column and we'll add format today and we'll change the types here to text. And you'll see why it's important to do this shortly. So once we have changed the type to text, what we can do now is we need some sort of function to join this together. Um, but instead of just manually typing in, you know, we want to append with an ampersand and a forward slash for the UK date format, um, we have a function we can use. So we'll just call this formatted date. This is going to be us piecing everything together. And we can use text <coughs> dot combine. And what we need to do here, we've got two arguments essentially, or parameters. We just need to specify the columns that we'll use within curly braces because we're specifying these in, within a list. So we're going to use formatted day, month, and year. And then we can just uh, add a com comma for the second argument and the separator that we require. In our case, it's a forward slash. For you, it could be a, a full stop or a period or a dot, whatever you want to call it, or just a standard hyphen. Um, but this is going to allow us to, to just, in a bit more explicit terms, change this data type to a date. So if you don't do things in a certain uh, way of steps, Power BI may not recognize or Power Query um, that as an ISO standard or a cultural standard for a country. And now we've managed to change the type and convert to date fine. Like I said, we're a bit more explicit, so it stopped us having to use the, the using locale when changing types. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.